Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now today's big day, Android Nougat came out 7.0 and we have the full OTAs that have uh, come out for this. So you can update this through several different ways, well just two that I know of right now, is that if you enroll your device in the developer program and then you'll get the OTA pretty much immediately from uh, things I've read online or you can download the full OTA provided here on this Android Police uh, post here. Uh, you can just go ahead and download this and flash it using FlashFire. So this is obviously a tutorial for updating your rooted Nexus 6P to Android Nougat from our Marshmallow builds. So in this case I'm rocking the MTC 19, oh sorry, 20F, <clears throat> excuse me, and so yeah we're gonna get started. So my phone's rooted, uh, just playing root, I just needed it for some root apps, and we're gonna get started right away. So first things first, you want to download the OTA for this. So this is the NRD90M, just click on that and it'll download this zip file and this is the one you want to copy to your phone and next thing that we want to download is TWRP for our 6P of course um, the new one I think it was 3.0.2-1 uh, allows us to decrypt the data partition on our 6P running Android N so of course you can download this by clicking here and then clicking this link down there or over there and you want to copy that to your phone as well and last things last we're going to be using uh, FlashFire to update our phone and this is just downloaded from the Play Store and installed. So once you have those two files downloaded, of course, which is the OTA and the latest version of TWRP, we can pretty much head over to our phones. So here I've got my phone, and you can see there it's got TWRP downloaded, and of course, uh, we'll flash fire. So we can open that up. We can give it root access. We're going to hit grant. Now this shouldn't lose any data, uh, but if you're running exposed, currently there is no exposed for Android N, I think. I haven't checked yet. Uh, but if you don't update the, well, if you don't flash the exposed framework after this, then your modules won't work, but that's fine. Um, so if you're using exposed, your modules won't work afterwards as exposed is not out for Android N just yet. And of course, if you're running a custom kernel, for example, that you want to keep your data partition uh, unencrypted, uh, you're going to need to flash that as well. And of course, we're going to be needing to flash the OTA and TWRP. So I'm going to hit agree on this disclaimer. We'll just say no thanks for now. And what we're going to do is tap on the plus and we're going to add a zip or OTA. Now I've downloaded everything in my downloads folder, so I'm just going to tap on this. Uh, this is what it should look like, start with 4.7 and in 9FBE. And this is just the uh, firmware file, or the OTA. So I've tapped on that and mount system rather than read only. So I think we should just be able to leave this uh, as is. So we're going to hit tap. So I think we'll tap on restore um, boot and recovery images. And we're going to hit OK. So in Everroot, we've also got inject super SU enabled. And we're going to leave that. And we're going to hit the flash button again. And of course, we're going to, I think we can just choose flash zip or OTA. And we're going to go ahead and select the TWRP image that we, hold on, we'll go to, maybe it was this, yeah, there we go. So we needed to use a flash firmware package and then locate our TWRP image right here. I'm going to tap on that and that's going to be flashed to the recovery. And of course you need to flash any, um, kind of any, uh, like I've said, um, other modifications that you need or custom kernels or modified boot images and things like that you'll need to flash or add that uh, using the flash firmware package option and that looks like it's about right so we're going to hit flash and we're going to hit ok so this will go through the process of flashing the required files here that we need for all this to work properly and I think I'll just leave it here and it should go do all its magic So as you can see, it's just uh, backed up our recovery image and we've flashed the TWRP image there. Now it looks like it's all been all right. So right now this is restoring, or it has just finished restoring our boot, stock boot and recovery images here for our OTA. Uh, well, that's kind of out of focus, but I'll fix that up in a sec. And right now it's patching the system image 
uh, with all the files that are inside that OTA. So this part will probably take the longest as I guess there's a lot of been uh, would have been a lot of changes between Android M and N. Now if I just adjust the focus here so you guys can see it. I think it's just because it's on a slant and it kind of get everything you know, the best it can. So as you can see it finished writing to all these partitions over here and now we're just going to patch the boot image for Android N and this will reboot our phone once it's done. So now it's done. Now that process was pretty quick. Uh, I know maybe autofocus will do it better. Yeah, probably not. I think that's the best. Okay, so right now our phone is just going to reboot back into Android and we should be able to see, well, there will be a couple boot loops, I guess, um, just because SuperSU is doing its thing. And afterwards, we should be greeted with the I'm not sure, not even a setup screen for Android N. I think we'll just be going right into it. So the phone will take a couple minutes to boot uh, from that and we'll just wait and see. Well, I say a couple minutes, but it's going pretty quick. So now it's starting Android. Maybe this part will take the longest and we'll have our boot loops here. So now we've just finished booting and yeah, there was no setup screen. And we should be able to see uh, these are similar icons that we've seen in the developer previews. And of course, here it is. And if we scroll down, you can see Android 0.7.0. Uh, and I think the baseband was updated. I'm not sure about the bootloader. We haven't got the factory images to play around with just yet at the time of recording. Um, and we'll see SuperSU. What was at the top? As you can see, it still works. And if we open up Flashfire, Oh well, um, well, it may have to be updated for Android N. Well, actually, I'll download a root checker app and we'll have a look. And there we are. Okay, so we're going to verify root and there we are. We'll grant it root access. There we go. Now, this is how we do it uh, updating from. Marshmallow to Android N without any problems here. Everything still works. We've got all our files here. And that's just Google Play services, but we won't worry about that. Using Flashfire, so using the full OTA. And of course, we have our updated TWRP, which I'll just reboot into the um, recovery just to have a look anyway. And if we boot into the bootloader. Now, sometimes this case is a little bit funny. Here we are, and then we're going to reboot into the recovery. And we shall see TWRP. So yeah, this is one way of doing it. And once the factory images come out, I'll be doing some various tutorials about that. And also I haven't forgotten about the substratum uh, guide. Well, okay, we'll try this. And hey, but that's all right. Um, we'll just force power this off. So yeah, if it doesn't flash, using that method, I must have checked something wrong. Uh, all we need to do is force it off, reboot back into the bootloader, and of course, plug it in and flash TWRP. Okay, I'll just go over this as a little end of video bonus. I'm gonna move the camera closer to where my USB port is on the side of the keyboard. So all you need to do is plug in your device into the bootloader, and if we head it back over to our device here, uh, we're going to need our Android Tools thing, which is on my basket build. And so the Android Tools is basically our ADB fastboot uh, and those two DLLs that we need. And it pretty much looks like this. This is what we're going to be downloading. And I'll have a link to this down in the um, more info, as I usually do. So there it is, just the Android Tools zip file here. And once you have that downloaded and extracted, all you need to do is so you've extracted it and it'll look like you'll have these files and fastboot, where are you, down there, these highlighted files. Sorry, this is very messy, but once you have those files in a folder, you all you need to do is hold shift and right click and you wanna press on open command window here. And what we need to type in is fastboot flash recovery. 
and leave a space on the end uh, over here and we're going to find that TWRP image that we downloaded. So if you download it on your device, I guess just go back on your computer and download it. But if you copied it over, just navigate to wherever you saved it. So I have it in a very organized fashion. And just drag it on top of your command prompt window. Now I know I think it was uh, Vista and below, uh, it doesn't, you can't drag it in, which is a bit of a pain. So yeah, just make sure you have, put your file there, press enter. And if we go back to our device, and we go into TWRP, we should see it uh, flashed properly. Okay, so now it's updated and this should decrypt uh, without any issues. There we are, so as you can see, we can access our data partition and everything's there. And of course, you can flash anything from there. So this is it for this video, guys. Uh, sorry that the TWRP thing was a little bit extra and we had to do it at the end, but better working than it not, right? So thanks for watching guys. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, like I've said, I haven't forgotten about the substratum uh, going over that. And I believe there were a few more tutorials that people wanted to see, but there'll definitely be more guides on, uh, more on long Android N. And of course I'll do a new rooting tutorial on, or video on that one as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.